And and then, then the, okay, it was only a go. moment. Loren broke away first, briskly leaving. Karen gave Saren a compassionate yet pleading look and followed suit. Please die. Please die. Please be the one that dies. That's what that ple- pleading look was. Saren looked out the windows to the volcano just outside the city. In those mountains lay his fate. As a slave, he never thought he could give the world anything. He never once desired to. But now, there was only one thing he was sure of. He was going to lay his life down for Erevorn. At least it's Erevorn and not Loren. Yeah. <clears throat> Mirth was required to be isolated while she performed the divination to secure Foss's whereabouts. Palmachot used his powers to strengthen hers, giving her all that she needed. This would look totally sick airbrushed on the side of a van. I just want to point that out. Uh, yeah, yeah. This guy sounds like a cult leader. Uh, a Palmachot? Yeah. He's yeah, a, he's Gandalf. He's our Gandalf analog. He sounds like a cult leader. Mm. He, he, yeah. He, uh, you have to be a... You have to have charisma to be a cult leader. He does not? No. No. Um, no. He's also a racist. <clears throat> yeah. He's our, our party. Although that works for cult leaders. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, but he's our party. He's our party's racist grandma. Yeah. Um, Mirth is a plant. Or a goddess? Plant goddess. I think she is like a plant goddess. Yeah. That's goddess exactly of right. plants. Spiritual leader of the elves. She's also the elf pope. Mm-hmm. Did you just follow you around? Uh, no, we're friends, and we were briefly romantically engaged, and then we kept fucking that up. Yeah, then we, like... I mean, we were like, I picked this flower for you. She's like, I'm literally a plant! <laughs> <laughs> why would that be... Why would you do something so terrible? It's like offering a beef take to Sorry, she doesn't say that. She's like, ah, I'm literally a plant! <laughs> The process was expected to take days, and the army needed that time to recuperate, and for Loren, Karen, and Saren to mentally prepare themselves for what might await them in the Everburn. Saren spent all of his spare time in Draco's room, tending to his wounds. His injuries were so traumatic that he hadn't regained consciousness yet, but Saren hoped Draco would open his eyes soon. Changing his bandages and sitting so casually next to him in bed, Saren began to... F- in bed? They're... What? What? Oh, What? Get, keep rolling, man. Just get cozy. We gotta get, we gotta get through this. Saren began to feel <laughs> differently around him. It was more than just happiness that Draco was alive. His fingers, li- his fingers lingered on the mage's skin. I think you shouldn't do that if someone's sleeping. That's really not okay, dude. Yeah, you, no. We need to have a conversation about boundaries and the way his half elf ears were in plain sight. Oh, so he's now he's fetishizing Draco. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> Saren wasn't sure if his feelings were wrong or not, or if Draco would hate him for them. But none of that would matter if he never opened his eyes. <laughs> so he put the pillow over his face. <laughs> you, you, yeah. Or love is wrong if you never know about it. That's disturbing. These guys have been flirting for a literal actual month. Yeah, they've got... Neither are particularly good at romance. Oh. I feel like Draco would understand. Mm-hmm. Um, After much soul searching, the entire party was prepared to face the trials ahead of them. Ray, Mirth returned from her divination. She revealed that Foss had a secret lair underneath his castle, which was crucial information. Loren arranged for the army to mobilize in the morning. They had but one more day to train and one more night to rest, and then it would all be over. Which reminds me, I'm going to click on the thing and actually equip those pants we got. Yep, they that's are, better. They are vastly better. Uh, let's double check that Loren and Saren are wearing the best pants they can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saren, how are your pants doing, buddy? He might not be able to wear those pants. What's your pants condition? Oh, no. Those are superior to his pants. All right. Better pants. <clears throat> uh, oh, this is Ramus. Ramus's abs are also wonderful. And he has bows in his beard. You know, little bows. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. Who else have we got? Because we don't have camp anymore, so we can't do the camp thing. Yeah. Well, We're that might be the, the night to rest, but we'll Kambara, who's goth. You know, one of these uh, Souser, who's literally Ken from Street Fighter. Good time. Huh? We have a lot of people following uh, us. Draco? Yes. Yes, we have too many people following us. All right. No, no. <clears throat> we we're going to check Loren's pants. Oh, yeah. She's already uh, wearing no, the better ones. She has the better pants. Good. All right. Pants are important. Huh? Is actually, uh, let's check our inventory in general. Is there anything else we can... I don't think so. We haven't swapped anything in a while. <clears throat> uh, make way for the caravan! A long string of wagons rolled into hammer time. Laden with, laden with crates, barrels, and heavily armed men. Wait. 
three favorite things. Uh, what are those wagons doing here? The city has been evacuated. Uh, we know that, and we know all about the war going on too. We're not stupid. This is literally from the beginning of Dragon Age. So we wanted to help out. The other merchants and I got together our best supplies, and we want to sell them to you because you've been making a bunch of money that's, in your fights. That's great. Thank you. I mean, not for free, though. <laughs> of course. Uh, all right, let's take a look. Mercenaries. I bet we can fight them and grind. Save. All right, save game. Uh, right. Use here. an empty slot. <laughs> no, you're never going back. No, there is no going back. There's no going back. There is no changing any minds. I almost hit quit, and I felt really good about it. Shop. Shop. All okay. Right. So we actually have a fair amount of money. Yeah. Um, um, so let's... Uh, flails. Um, I forget how to do... Oh, yeah, there we go. We can do the comparison. Yeah, so the greens are things she can use, I guess. And none of them are any good for her. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. We've been giving her the best. He might have something. Uh, is this a two-hander? Yeah. Flail. Oh, yeah, because he uses a shield. We don't want that. Yeah. Let's see if he's got anything good. This is... Yeah, armor is a place that might matter. Ring of Air Resistance, the Demon Lord's Necklace, Necklace of the Guardian, Ring of Agility, that seems like a thing we might want. Maybe? Um, um, what have they got in the way of pants here? Because I noticed that some of our mages do not have scale. Uh, there are no pants that they can wear. No pants that they can wear, great, useless. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? Let's just... See who the mercenary option is. You men come to fight. I'm curious. What? We've never been able to do this before. Sure, why not? Yeah, I got a thousand bucks. I'll pay you a dirty fee, but only because the coin will be useless if we fail. <laughs> Take it with my resentment. That's pretty good. All right, Lorraine ignored their seediness, knowing the war on everyone was worth any cost and needed help of any hands, even those of bandits. Did they just join our party? All right, yeah, real quick, let's hit Dreaded Lake. How are mercenary bandits? Maybe they're just going to be a narrative thing? I don't know, but we just hired them. Um, let's go hit, hit hit the inventory real quick. Make sure that our main uh, mages are actually equipped. Uh, Merce she could a use ring. a ring. Merce got a ring slot, okay. Um... Mara's also got a ring slot and a necklace and slot. And a necklace slot. Uh, belt, too. Draco. Draco's, Draco's equipped. Everything. All right. Uh, so all right. let's go to the shop and let's see if we what we've got for, like, necklaces and shit. So we got some good rings. Uh, Kambara. Um, wow, that seems really good. Attack damage speed. Critical hit. She doesn't do those things. Um, it's true, but speed is good. That is true. Uh... Yeah, defense plus five. These are different than what we were just looking at. No, they... There's a demon lord necklace in the other one. You're right, they are different. That is so weird. Uh, speed plus ten? Speed plus ten, yeah. No, damage minus ten, though. Oh. Um, so yeah, I guess we just take... Uh, what's the necklace two to the left there? Uh, that's the tanking one. Yeah. yeah Good yeah, defend. The yeah. Well. Yeah, the, the... The agility, or like the, yeah, where is it? No, not this. Yeah, they, it changed. Yeah, it's totally different. That's off-putting. <laughs> we don't want to spend forever, let's just <laughs> yeah, let's load just... her up with things that are good. All right, bonus to magic. Equip directly. And we'll do the same thing for mirth. 
Um, and Kambara also has a necklace slot. Yeah. It increases her defense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have Jules' no necklace. Oh, right, because it makes you weak to a bunch of shit. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah, we didn't want it. All right, I'm not going to waste time selling all that crap. Proceed. <clears throat> Draco had still not opened his eyes. His wounds were recovering steadily, but he was perpetually in a deep slumber. That's usually what happens when I get super hurt. I'm going to eat these chips because that means there's going to be dialogue. Yeah. Uh, how does he fail? Lorena checked in on Draco a few times, and each time Saren was always there. As usual, Saren grew more touched that Lorena was so concerned, though he suspected that part of her was more concerned about him as well. It was no secret where he could be found most hours of the day since recapturing the keep. He is the best he's ever been, and still. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a way to make me myself more useful. Saren stood up, but Lorena put a hand on his shoulder and pushed him back down. The push was enough to send reality coursing back through him. He'd been in a stupor for too long. He'll wake soon, and I know there's, there isn't another face he wants to see. Mostly because we pretty much don't like him, and he, he hates us. Um, Loren? Look, I'm going to explain it. He's really into you. Yes. Just, just Are you <laughs> familiar with Amazon Sign Language? We could use hand signs. <laughs> Sorry, the, the Amazon is... it. Does this... <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the American Sign Language for sex is this, with two fingers on each. So so it's not that different. Um, she didn't say anything more, however, and gave Sarah a sympathetic look before leaving. He drifted back to watching Draco somberly. Ooh, there was a little... Yeah, glittery, glittery music, yeah. she sound, yeah. Um, he used his healing magic yet again, though it hadn't done as much as he wanted this whole time. A groan, following, followed by mumbling, came from Draco's mouth. What? Saren was shocked to see Draco vocalizing. Was he recovering? Draco, Draco, can you hear me? His chest rose and fell heavily while he mumbled again. Saren couldn't understand him, so he leaned closer. What are you saying? The... He used his healing magic one more time. He was drained to the point of exhaustion. Seeing Draco like this wasn't helping him either. He looked like he was in agony. He flipped his head over the other side. See it in. That was the last thing Saren would. That was the last thing Saren would sit back and watch before he clambered onto the bed to scoop Draco into his arms. <laughs> I'm right here, Draco. He's, he's, he's using the passive voice inappropriately. I. Here is where I am, Draco. Here is where I am. <laughs> Uh, Saren felt helpless, he, watching the mage suffer from something he couldn't wake up from. All he would allow himself to do was hold Draco gingerly, pushing the hair from his eyes. I would maintain that scooping someone up in, like, a fireman's carry does not meet the definition of gingerly holding them. Especially if their skin's been burned. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't touch the skin. Yeah, you know, if there's something that the people skin. with, like, terrifying sunburns really like, it's <laughs> snuggles. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna get Mad Max, Draco. Uh, no. Draco, please wake up. I'm right here. Saren almost jumped when he felt Draco's hand reach up and touch his arm. His breathing slowed and his mumbling stopped. Is that alive? Both ears out. Ooh, oh. That's new, that's new art assets right there. <laughs> Saren snapped back to look at Draco's face. His eyes were open. Of course I'm alive. How are you feeling? What's wrong? Oh. Draco's vision slowly cleared, but he kept trying to put Saren in focus. His voice was dry and cracking, too fragile to really let Saren feel relief. Wait, wait, I haven't fought fast yet. <laughs> kind of hoped I'd slept through it. <laughs> I'm... No, I'm so sorry. I wanted you to wake up in a world without war, too. <laughs> That's a, like, farewell to arms shit right there. But I was afraid that that world would not be mine. Mm -hmm. 
Saren ran his hand against Draco's cheek, causing his eyes to flutter closed. Draco's mouth twinged as if he wanted to smile. There was no denying his feelings anymore. It was clear as day to Saren now, and he wished he'd realized them sooner. He wished it hasn't taken Draco nearly losing his life to see how important he was to him. I promised you that everything would be okay, and here you are. Part of me really hopes that this just plays the whole thing, like if you do a different romance with like Kamara, who is a like stone cold killer. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. You're okay. But both okay. Are you really? No. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, hard assets. Oh, oh, Draco has abs. Good to know. <laughs> We he was, abs. Yeah, he was, he's been very robed up till this point, but uh, he's abtastic. Saren's stomach clenched, and his head felt fuzzy. Draco hissed while trying to move, so Saren laid him back down on the bed. Did, did, did he hiss? <laughs> I was, did I miss Slow leak, that? slow leak, man. <laughs> did I? No, no, I did not. I did not misread that. <laughs> I'm a little bandaged up. Saren flushed instantly. Draco's clothes had to be removed to treat his wounds. How did you do this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Why are you sorry? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I thought you were saving my life. Is there something more to the story? Draco had always worn big, formless robes, and Saren couldn't recall a time when he hadn't. Like his elf ears, Draco strove to, to hide himself. But now that Saren was looking at him, his robes gone and his ears out... He couldn't understand why anyone wouldn't want to see this. That's you're, you're, you're fetishizing someone with, like, serious physical injuries. This, this man needs a doctor, not whatever you're about to do with him. <laughs> I need to talk about these hips. His hips are fine. It's Is Saren a centaur? <laughs> It's everything that happens between his <laughs> hips and his shoulders that's the problem. Like, this is how a centaur would sit. He's just very big. No shit! Maybe he's extra vertebrae. Yep, yep. Cat. He's not human, right? He's not all human. No, he's... <laughs> We've never seen Lorette's legs. We don't know if she's the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! Oh. Maybe the reason there's no Amazon men is because there's like, there's like a genetic birth defect. <laughs> Terrifying <does>. spindly spider dudes. <laughs> they just have like long and flimsy spines. I can confirm, Saren is eight feet tall. <laughs> wow. Alright, moving on. I know I'm horrific. You can put the blanket over me. Uh, what? No, 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 you're not. I feel horrific. Now that I'm my usual self, words were useless, Sarah knew. Draco's views of himself were probably cemented by a lifetime of thinking that way, and that drew the most base and dramatic gesture that Saren could manage to convince him otherwise. He kissed him. He quickly ducked down cupped Draco's face and brought their lips together. He felt Draco quickly inhale through his nose, but Saren's breath had abandoned him already. Is he inhaling through That's Draco's a nose? Or weird thing Saren's to sub nose? to describe. <laughs> Neither moved. Saren's head swam with a white numbness that spread over his whole body. He'd never felt this way before. He never thought that he could. The lack of feeling, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the numbness. The <laughs> <laughs> that's, also, that's not how it's supposed to feel. We, like this person has never kissed someone. I've got like, a that spindly is not spider a, heart on. Shut up. Yeah, like like <laughs> you're not supposed to go numb when you kiss someone. I think Draco may be absorbing his mana. No, no. <laughs> Elves' <laughs> skin is covered in a neurotoxin. <laughs> not a wonder how Our saliva is very dangerous to yeah, humans. It's, it's... Oh. Saren opened his eyes to see Draco's reaction and finally pulled back to see his whole face. Draco's eyes watered, mostly from pain. Saren's kiss had brought him to tears. 
Before it could be taken the wrong way, Draco smiled. He shuddered with a mixture of laughter and crying, and it brought Saren to the edge as well. He hadn't expected such a reaction, but then Draco hadn't expected a kiss. They grabbed each other's hands, letting their emotions out while staring deep into each other's eyes. They spoke with no words, and Draco told him how happy he was with just a few looks. Saren hoped that his looks would tell him the same. And also, then they gave ex each other explicit spoken consent before continuing. <laughs> he was relieved that his, feeling, his feelings for Draco were not rejected, but also that he was not ashamed of them. Not in the least bit. Oh my god. This is what a... So, I just want to point out. This is what a straight person writing gay people is like. <laughs> right? We have created... We have created a straight world. Uh, yep. And thus the narrative for for a gay couple has to be about, yeah, like, the nature of, of, of the shame of two men. <clears throat> I really wish these, like, we we'd, we got the same line with, like, Amu Kiki, who's our barbarian. He'd so be like, they gripped hands and stared into each other's eyes and spoke no words. You'd just be like, like, you just, like... <laughs> Saren and Emukiki, we we worked on the romance, but their their romance is deeply, deeply fraught. Yeah. They they express their lust for each other through violence and hunting and and oh, man yeah. things. Yeah, it, like if they are not sweating a lot. Yeah, glistening. Gli there was a lot of glistening going on. Every night before going to bed, you just arm wrestle to see who does what. Yeah. <laughs> There's worse ways to do that, honestly. <laughs> oh, the world may have seen him in certain in a certain way, but all Saren saw was a handsome half-elf with unrivaled mastery of fire magic who made him laugh no matter what. And that's the person he wanted Draco to see himself as. I like that they put unrivaled mastery of fire magic in there. Yeah, yeah. He bent down and they both grew still again. He brought his lips down to brush against his cheek and in the corner of his mouth wiping away the, his tears with his hand. Draco was frozen underneath him, and his cheeks were visibly starting to redden, but he held a nervous smile and a hand on Saren's arm, still having not given him any kind of verbal consent, telling him that he wanted his love. Oh, no, this guy was I'm... barely <laughs> conscious. Draco had no idea how to act in such situations, only fantasized about them, and now that they were here, he felt like he was staring directly into the sun, which is very bad for you. <laughs> yeah, that, that's painful. Saren also, was... also, this man like has just regained consciousness yeah, after right. several days <laughs> after after matching like, with dragon fire. Yeah, like... um, Saren was slow in his advances for Draco's sake, and because everything he was feeling was so intense, he had someone usual to him. What the hell is he with his feet? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's all gone wrong. <laughs> They couldn't decide what stirred Draco's quick recovery that night. If it was time, healing, magic, or love. But most importantly, he did recover and surprised everyone else with the speed of it. Good, he's back in the party. We need him. Yeah, he's our best wizard. <laughs> Even though it was suggested that he stay behind at the keep, Draco refused to let Saren walk into Everburn with a new sense of boldness he gained from the night before. Romance Draco with Saren. Yeah. Nice. There are ten romance options in this game. Although, I really wish, if I'd known and I could go back, if I could go back, I would have played a lady, we would have played a lady, and we would have romanced the queen, we would have romanced Loren's mom. Because that's an option only if you're a lady. And every time Loren was like, yes, well, I'm going to be queen of the Amazons, we're like, yep. Sure you are. But... <laughs> I'm going to be queen first. <laughs> I'm queen of your mom. <laughs> you can call me of your mom. Yeah. The time had come. War drums sounded in the morning. Loved ones kissed the soldiers goodbye or traded long looks across, longing looks across formation ready to end the war so they could <clears throat> give each other a better tomorrow. In the morning, the armies assembled and were given march orders. The Grand Army was to march right into Everburn and conquer the day. The orders are that way. 
That way, kill all the things. It was up to Princess Loren to lead her army against the evil forces. She had to give instructions to each army, knowing that each one had their limits, and if they couldn't succeed, she'd have to intervene. Warning, game mechanics ahead. The first wave of demons residing in the Smoking Mountains revealed themselves. It was time for her first call. Alright, so... You... Oh, yeah! Trouble. Trouble's our hellhound. He's not very good. Draco, you're in. You, you're out. You, you're in. Uh, yep, there's, there's our standard crew. 18, go. Okay. So, this is the fight? Oh, yeah, oh, we can, okay, so we Chances can... Chances of winning, 65, 55, 45... Oh, okay. We hired the mercenaries, so that that's this is where the mercenaries. Okay, come yeah, in. we've got. Okay, so human army. They were sixty-five, right? Yeah, yeah. Dark elves, disciples of truth, who were the monks. Hmm. You should give it to another army. Did it get better? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They probably get weaker. They get weaker. They start at human army and, and go down. Undead army is forty-five. Where did we get an undead army? Uh, we defeated the death knight. Okay. And then we killed. The crone mother. All right. Well, let's throw our human army at this mess. I, on, we can fight it ourselves and get the XP. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like this is not hard. No. I just imagined it would be quicker to do it the other way. But yeah, we might level. All right. Like the, the the advantage of it being our A team is it's our A team. Um, let's just open up on this guy because yeah. take forever to kill. Yeah. It's nice that he's yeah he ran away. Right. Rally. All right, what do we got here? Oh, it's just all four. It's Earth Fire Water here. So slow. Yeah. Game mechanics. Um... Uh, oh, and then, and then there's the face eye, and then the crotch eye. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I was gonna say because the face eye doesn't remind me too much of the face. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one. Yeah. Uh, Draco. Water. Fire. Fire seems like our obvious one. All right. Yeah. Fuel uh, wall. Yep. This. Ooh. Gonna have to. Just gonna heal himself. Yep. Funny. All right. Ryan can kill that one. Get in there, killer. Also kill that. We just aggressively click on things until everything goes away. Um, yeah, get her to kill the big monsters. Our mages can take care of fire guy. Yeah. Much like that. Uh, what do we want? Water? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That will end that one. And now it's click a thon. Click -a -thon. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yeah, so we get XP and loot from this one. Yeah, so. Yeah, Lorenz one fight away from level. Most everybody Mirth is. Mirth, yeah. 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 Three of them are one fight away from level. Packs of Inferno Hounds work their way from the crags and boulders. They snap their huge teeth and blaze with deadly fire. Hooray! Water magic. Run it back! Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, heal yourself. Uh, oh yeah, they all go before he does. These do not deal enough damage to even matter. Uh, do we want to get a row heal? Yeah, yeah. And then some water. They are... Critically weak to water. water. Yeah. Made of fire. Oh yeah, duh. Fire. Here we 
additional water. Uh, not that. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. The row. I always forget this power stuff like that. Yeah. Like, that's a bow. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah. So okay. Down. Okay. Um, that dies? That dies? That dies. He picks up Kambara with full... Go for 50? Sure. Like, the difference between 50 and, and 75 at this point is what is the material. Yeah, that's just cool. Yay. Go! Level up! No skills, but her strength, strength goes up. Yay! More strength. He oh, does get a skill. He has a skill. Uh, oh, he gets shield a shield wall. Powerful shield wall. Yay! Level 3 Look, shield wall. We invested into things and they paid off. <clears throat> um, she also gets a skill. Uh, oh, top tier heal, everybody? Heals all allies by 50% of their health. Yeah, that seems nice. Sounds good. Ghastly creatures crawled out of dens as the army marched path, incurring their incurring their wrath. I'm imagining, like, Thriller. Like, it's just... The army's just marching through, and people, like, monsters are coming out of everywhere, and then they just beat them back and keep marching. Well, and then they get into neat rows. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we should be good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Necromancer. Enemy level weak. Yeah, like even at their we the weak level, the human army only has a 70% chance. But it means you don't have to fight the battles yourself. Yeah. Like, kill three armies and then. Uh, uh heal up Kimbara a bit. Like, I think a low level heal will top her up. But... Yeah, rally. I uh, just want to do the everybody heal. Just top everybody up. Sure, but I don't think we need the full... Yeah. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, it's row. Because sure. yeah. the other option is, is, is a row. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, dark magic, I assume, is bad. Zombies are weak to air and resistant to earth. All right, so we wait for... Uh, any tornadoes, probably the front row. Yeah. Uh, is it gonna put the father shield walling? Nah, just get him started on this guy. Run, kill that. Oh, they're regenerating. Well, kill that. Yeah, regenerate, regenerate that. Even Saren's doing 70 or 80 damage to these things. Uh, what's our... He's critically vulnerable to fire. Oh, yeah. That's, that's gonna... Oh, he healed himself. Oh, no. What that are we gonna do? a poor life choice. A brief life choice, really, is yeah. what that was. <laughs> yeah. Yay, we got right. an old quarter staff because yeah. the loot tables aren't leveled. Yay. The army was pelted with swarms of drakes, screeching and biting at their skin. Sure. Run it back. Strong drakes. These are not boss level drakes. Sure, let's just do it. We're more powerful now. Yeah. We have well we have our main killers. Oh, that's true too. And critically we yeah, we just need to keep Draco and Kambara alive. That is our job. Yes. So for now, we're just going to take a shot. Or get Kumbara and we... Oh! Oh dear. Loren just dropped. Yeah. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Guard. Uh, group heal? Uh, yeah, maybe. I should have had him bring up Loren. Water. Swamp. Swamp. Pick up Loren. Yeah, because Saren can heal her. Yeah. Or 23. There we go. 
Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Because they all have, like, Inferno powers, right? Like, as soon as we can start killing a couple of them... Yeah. We'll be in good shape. Um, because these are small breaks. Um... Wanna... I... Maybe oh. defend? They're about... Small Drake's about to cook us again. Not to... I mean, shield wall. Their shield wall is down. Yeah, well... Apparently didn't matter. Alright. Um... Kill one of them and then worry about picking other people up. Okay, Siren's gonna have to heal. Yeah. He's running out of juice too. Mm. Probably should have put up shield wall. Ooh! She have a kill shot on that? No. Nope. No. So we'll take that one. Alright. Pick up a Mirth. Okay, pick up a uh, Loren. Uh, Siren's out of juice. Yeah. Um, He's gonna heal look, himself? Yeah, potion himself. 50. It's nothing, but I guess it's. It's a hit. Oh, it's also quick. So you can do it again, or you can pick up something. Let's go to pick up Rico. And then Mirth can heal a bunch of them. Now we're in business. Um, yeah, pick up Kamara. No! Yeah, only one of them's gonna go. Yeah, let's pick her up. Fucking hell. Alright, we need to kill this one. Yeah. Alright. Now we can pick people up. Pick up Gambara! Uh, yeah, we don't have enough magic to do the thing, do we? No, we don't have enough magic to do anything. Sigh. So I... Oh my god, I've never heard her voice before. That was weird. That was super weird. Uh, Draco, please. Um. Uh... Defend around a mirth or heal. Uh, give her uh, Kumbar another healing potion. I'm thinking if we can get, if we can survive till mirth, she can heal us, and then we can start the next fight in better shape. Yeah. Does she have a stun? No, yeah, it could confuse him. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Sure. So it'll do less damage. And defend or shield wall. Where is Mer? Oh, it's just way down here. Oh, yeah. Her spell's super slow. Well, you could give himself some mana. Drink a mana potion. I'm thinking for the next fight. Yeah, there's gonna be a next fight, isn't there? Yeah. Now let's get those. Draco. Can just defend. Um, Okiki can also defend. It's not enough to put anybody down. Oh, she's only got enough juice for oh. one of the, uh, one row. Darn, should have given her a potion. All right, now let's kill it. There we go. Oh yeah, 